you will what you will learn hmm, guys welcome to just palace tv and in this video we are talking very dark man and prophet jeremiah fufe yes these guys are still not ended actually i think prophet jeremiah is done he does not want to have any squabbles or whatever with very dark man anymore but very dark man is still very much insisting that himself and prophet jeremiah the awahala has not ended he's still insisting that this man has to pay for all the things he has committed now what has happened very dark man is saying that prophet jeremiah still has to answer for all of the other things you are doing he's saying that even if you have given out the spiritual items for free you must have enough that number and also that efcc and F NPFNCC must investigate Prophet Jeremiah for selling cash flow ATM card. Yes, you heard that right. ATM card cash flow, selling it for $20. And I'm here wondering how will how is the card working? And that is the question a very dark man is saying. He's saying at this point, this is a situation where EFCC needs to talk about it. Because apparently he has a card that is selling. We don't know how it works. Is that once you purchase the card, you will never run dry of money or this atm card you can insert it on any uh this debit card or is it a credit card we don't even know but this card can you insert it on any of the atm machines or on any of the atms you know and you're going to get money is that how it works how does it work that is the question that this man is asking because following very dark man coming for prophet jeremiah you know buying his waters and all of his spiritual items and testing them out on people that are um afflicted in the society and it not working prof he called prophet jeremiah basically a fraud yes for selling all of these things so this man has come to say that all the spiritual items are not for are for free they are not to be sold and they've taken all the water all of the soaps everything that this man was selling to his church members and his congregation he has taken them down right but he still left some other things that when um, very dark man started with prophet jeremiah who is the general overseer of mercy land in worry delta state um he didn't take down this atm cash flow for example he didn't also take down um some other things on the some other things on his page he has and cash selling for three dollars you know he has still has some other stuffs on his website that he's still selling and those are stuff that apparently are supposed to heal you he still has apple to give you samuel uh, samuel giving up i don't even know what the title is he has that that's going to give you I don't <laughs> so very dark man is asking this question and nigerians are saying if you are hating on very very dark man at this point you literally have a very dark heart see the rhyme right because this man is definitely doing what the so-called celebrities are not doing and is calling them out because very dark man is insisting that even if these things are being given for free they have to be tested because you're asking people to ingest people are supposed to drink this water people are supposed to use this soap to bath people are supposed to eat this apple what is the verification and the identity that this is safe for people right how are you sure that people can consume this and they are going to be fine so you still need to get NAFDAQ registration number, regardless of whatever, if you are distributing it two for two for one naira, if you're giving everybody free, if you are decided, if you're tired that every home in Nigeria needs to have one of the, any of this, um, you know, of your monuments or whatever in their, in their possession, you still have to verify them. There still has to be a tag that this is safe for human use and consumption. So very dark man is saying, regardless of what you do, no PR is going to save you. Remember, remember that Prophet Jeremiah initially sued very dark man for one billion naira that he had to actually, you know, um, take down that suit because obviously a lot of persons are like, see guy, if you want to pursue this, at the end of the day, you are the one that is going to lose. People were telling Prophet Jeremiah, a lot of persons came out to support very dark man, so he withdrew the count the suit. But is he has now also said all of his um paraphernalia whatever they are are now free but very dark man is insisting and saying you have to verify these things you have to show us what this thing is you have to let us know that this is supposed to be safe for us basically that is just the gist um the whole story now let's get into what prophet jeremiah is prophet jeremiah Fung Omoto Fung. that is what he is he's a 52 years old um 
pastor. He was born on the 15th of February 1971 in Delta State. He is the founder and the head prophet of the Christ Messel and Deliverance Ministry located in Efuro in Delta State, Nigeria. He founded the church on the 3rd of April 2010. This man um, grew up basically in Delta State primary, secondary, and all of that. He is married to Antonia Fufei and they have five children. He was born in a polygamous home and he is the 22nd child out of 36 children sired by his father, late Livingston Stevenson, to Bokei Fufei. His mom's name is Ashetu Fufei. This man has been criticized for his loud acts of charity, his very public and showy focus on demos and deliverance in his ministry, you know, and all of those things. Back in 2017, actually, Fufei, uh, Prophet Jeremiah, defended Suleiman Johnson against his sex scandal and described him as innocent. This man, Jeremiah, is... Uh, he has never been too far away from controversies and people talking about him and whatnot. And people are saying that if they start talking about you and you want to start reacting to you, people have told him. Because when people start questioning or, you know, asking questions about his, about his ministry, Prophet Jeremiah is very quick to find something in a way of defending him. So people are like, if you're always defending yourself, then maybe you are not innocent after all. Um, Back in 2023... Uh, March 22nd to be precise, his church was destroyed by fire and he claimed the reason for the fire was because of his disobedience to God's instruction. Hmm, interesting. On the 9th of January 2024, following BBC's allegations of physical and sexual assaults, um, sexual abuse, fake miracles and first abortions in the Synagogue Church of All Nations under the late leader T.B. Joshua, he criticized Joshua's member in NASA call for not speaking up in his defense, in Joshua's defense. He urged his supporters to speak up in his defense against the allegations leveled against him by his own enemies. <laughs> you see that? So this man, like I mentioned, has never been far away from um, 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 controversies and story. The latest being where he was selling miracle water. For when he started selling miracle, people were just like on the internet, they're like, okay, this is obviously not something that we believe in. This is this cannot be true. This cannot be something that is sanctified by God and whatnot. But a very dark man took it personal and said, okay, I need to test it. If you are saying that, if you drink this water, all well, your problems will go. If you drink this water, you use this soap, this one, this one, this happens to this is miracle soap. This is water from the pool of Becheda and all of those things. Let us test it out, yes? So it's hard to test it out and it carried it when to meet blind and lame you know um our men and Fulanis and whatnot in the streets of lagos on the streets of lagos and abuja and nothing happened to them so he called out prophet jeremiah saying first of this is not even something that is certified by the national agency for food drugs Ad administration and control in nigeria the body that we have given the authority to certify the things that we are ingesting and the things we are using on our body right so that is his latest one. He sued him, like I mentioned, and you know, yada yada, and all of those things. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me hear from you. He's very dogmatic in the too far now because Prophet Jeremiah is trying in his own way to, in the first instance, not spoil face in front of his church members, people that he has promised that this is the whatever that is going to solve your problem that i believe you can't just come tell them that oh, all of you people that paid money for it so real is now free right he's trying to save face while at the same time trying to avoid you know back and forth on the internet with very dark man so is very dark man doing too much should he stop should he continue this um what's your opinion in the comment section i'll be very much interested in hearing from you thank you for watching this one take care of yourselves and bye